Okay, so you're just going to pull them straight down. So as they come down, you're going to pull back into here. You're going to drive this knee into the spine and forward at the same time as pulling the hands back. Then you hammer fist into the throat. Okay, which by that time it should be over. Turn the head, push the top of the head that way, like that. Pull the jaw up this way. You just tap when it starts to hurt. You get a two way action. And all you're going to do now is drop your chest straight down so that when this is turned, you literally drop your chest, bang, straight down to the floor. Kick your legs out so you literally bang. Again, you can't actually train that, all you can do is just apply pressure and practice just dropping back. You obviously don't let go if you want to really finish him off. For example, I come up behind him grabbing and slash. He freaks out and that's what happens. He's a goner, it's over. But look what happens when he does it the right way and tucks his chin. He feels someone coming in. Now I've got his cheek and his chin. He grabs the weapon, but hey look, he's been cut in the face and he's still in the fight and he has a chance of survival. And that is the difference between just a few inches of movement from here and the tuck in there. As this cuts here, grab hold, reinforce it, and use your legs. And as this comes up, you just straighten up. And as you do that, he flips real fast. And then you can just step through and finish from there. If you keep this on and turn, more pain in here. If you keep turning, I'll do it slowly. You take it here and you just turn until you hear all the right noises on the knee and just pop the knee out. Okay. Now, see this ear? That ear here? So, what do you think he's going to do as I'm chewing away at his ear? Right. He's going to want to pull away for all his life. I'm not letting him until I'm damn well good and ready. Okay, now look, remember we just practiced knee? Does anyone see this? Yeah. Does anyone see this? Yeah. Okay. Now that's why you go, you know, why is Scott having us knee these pads? What's the big deal? Uh, okay, well, this is a really big deal, friend. This is going to be life altering. <laughs> you see boxers all the time hitting up into the body. Just tense up in, I'm going to tap. Hitting up into the body. And Ian's done a lot of tire, take those all day long. But when you hit down, oh. it has a completely different effect. <laughs> okay. So. There's a massive difference, is there not, between hitting up and hitting down. Yeah. <laughs> right? So you imagine, that's just a little poke. You imagine full speed, full power, everything you got, strike into there. It's going to have a, a pretty decent effect. As I tuck the chin, because I want to slam the soft part of his face, the nose, the mouth, with the top crown right here, the hardest part of my head. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing this down into his face. Now just stand still, please. Right like that. Now I'm also pulling him in like this. See, I'm pulling him in like that. So I have both this bullet, this cannonball, coming in fast. Plus I'm bringing the target into the cannonball very fast. See, so I just bam as fast as I can. Now even if my hands were tied behind my back, I could still do that. Bang, highly effective. Just bringing it down as hard as I can and throwing my body's weight behind it. It's the head butt. But it's very important to tuck the chin so that you don't forehead butt and knock you both out. Now this here is a major artery. If you go from knee to groin, that will cause a bleed out. 